Hey everyone, it's Ash Coyote, and I am joined here with... You gotta tell people who you are. They need to know! Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is Ash Coyote, and this is Beagle in Red, and today we're doing a video. Yes, we're doing a very special video. We're doing a video... Every video is special. How can I always say very special video? So today's video is extra special, very special, super special, super duper special, because I got my good friend Beagle. We're gonna be answering embarrassing questions from you. That's right, you. I know, the horror, the shock, the pain, the awe. Oh my god, I can't wait. This is gonna be strange. <laughs> so how this is gonna work is I tweeted out and said, hey, anybody who wants to ask me something embarrassing, ask me now. I'm gonna do a video and I'm just gonna straight up answer everything that was sent my way, or at least try to everything within reason, of course. Did I agree to this? So Beagle here is gonna have to answer them too. Oh, regardless gosh. of how weird they get. But before we get started, let me ask you all a question. Have you ever been asked something like super embarrassing by your parents, by friends or family about being in the furry fandom? Let me know what that was in the comments section below. Let's do this. Let's make this magic happen. I got my handy dandy phone, my exposed hand paw. Oh my God. Let's see. Have you ever enjoyed heavy petting in fursuit? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Because I'm a dog, I like eating pets. Pets are great. Pets are wonderful. Aren't they, Beagle? You like pets? Yeah. You're a good dog. Good. This is... Oh my god, it's Diego! Diego! So, Beagle, mm -hmm. since you said yes, you did enjoy heavy petting, when and where did that happen? In my mind. <laughs> I thought we were being honest here. Next question. Does camera size matter? Well, does it? You're the camera buff. Uh... Uh, I got she film on big camera. How many subs you got? Subs? Does camera size matter? Well... Who gets the more views? I'm a bit of a size queen. I like my cameras big. I like them thick and juicy. Um, juicy? I mean, like, I think the camera size is more about personal preference and how you use it. I mean, small cameras are great for getting into those tight, hard-to-get places, but big cameras are also awesome because they get the... the broader scope of things, you know? I can only handle the small ones right now. I haven't worked my way up to the big ones yet. We're actually talking about sex. Oh. Who is your secret fursuit crush? And I don't just mean like, I mean you want to do the horizontal mambo with them. You're first on this. Wait, what? Who's your fursuit crush that you'd want to fuck? <laughs> well, I, I met this one girl at MFF. <laughs> This already got more awkward than it should be. Phoenix Wolf. Oh my god. I don't I don't know how to answer this because I'm just like I'm sitting here like, um, wait a second. <laughs> so I mean obviously like this is hypothetical, so if it wasn't Chip, let me think. Uh Tell me. Ah! Oh, oh god. We're being honest here. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, um I okay, uh I, oh god, this is so embarrassing. I'm like, I'm literally like melting under this suit. This is your video. No, I, I mean like maybe Calico because you know like we've been like really good friends and we just like jive well. Like I've known Calico for a while. Top I mean, like, or this, bottom? Oh god, I don't know. I mean like according to the most recent survey, I am 68% top and like, I don't know whatever other percent bottom. So like, uh. We better hope he's a good bottom then. <laughs> what is your favorite kind of booze? Booze? Yeah. <sighs> I've only tried tequila and vodka. I've done more vodka. It's e it goes down easier, I think. See, for me, I would go with like a bourbon. I find like sugary drinks, they just, they add too many calories. So I gotta watch my figure and all. And so like, if I'm gonna drink, I'll just drink straight bourbon. I'm weird like that. I'm a freaking coyote, okay? Like, don't judge me. Don't you dare judge me on that. You'll love this one. Oh no. What is your favorite search term on E621? <sighs> M slash F. That, I mean, that makes sense. So what is M slash F? <laughs> oh my god, what the... So, E621 uses, like, I guess they have, like, very specific, like, They're like tags. Keywords yeah, it's like, that... it's like hashtags, yeah. Yeah, so, M slash F. What does that mean? Means you straight. Means you straight? You hear that? Beagle is straight. Straight as a gummy worm. Uh, let's see, I think my favorite search term is, like, TF. What does that mean? It means transformation. I always like thought it was like really cool that you could like turn into something else. I know, oh my God, I'm trans. I turned into something else, right? But like, it was just, it was always cool to be, you know, like werewolves. What is the longest you fursuited 
without washing your fursuit. Wait, like in one go or like a longest period I haven't washed my fursuit? Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing it's kind of like the longest period between washing your fursuit. So my very first fursuit, I never washed him because I didn't know you had to wash fursuits. So you just like straight up musky husky it? You were just like walking around? Yeah, like... I never washed him because I didn't know you had to wash first. I never like sprayed him down or anything. Oh! <laughs> yeah, so it's it like maybe like close to a year and then I sold him into Majira without washing. <laughs> you, you got the super stank. You were just like stanky boy, weren't you? You were just like all like, oh god, oh god. I would probably say the longest I've ever gone without washing it. It was like two months. And that's just because I didn't wear it a whole ton. So it was like, I would spray out the head. Like, I mean, it wasn't like I wasn't maintaining hygiene with it. That counts well, as long as you didn't spray well, your head. Well, that's that's not washing. This one's gonna require some counting on both our parts. I only got eight fingers. How many holes does your fursuit have? Okay, so those aren't holes, right? What counts as a hole? Like, are eyes holes like? Yeah, I'd say eyes are holes. Do you have any ear holes? Mm, yeah, ear I don't... holes. So I'm guessing you have three? Three holes? Yeah. The eagle has three holes. Um, how many do I have? I think I have. Well, I mean, yeah, same, I mean, right? Yeah, you got so one, two, three, any piercings, anything? Well, there you go. The answer is three. It's like, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? How many holes does Ash's fursuit have? Three fucking paws, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You ready for this, Beagle? No. Are you really a dom? A dom? Yeah. Dominant. A dom. Uh, no. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> Beagle's a subby boy. I'm totally subby. Like, that's not even a secret. <laughs> Look at this subby boy. Look how subby this boy is. You're just a dog. Now, for me, um, that's complicated. Don't you think that's a little personal to ask? But, like, I would say... <sighs> I, I have a more dominant personality in our relationship. I tend to be a little bit more, you know, like on that side of things. Take from that what you will. Fash. But yeah, I mean, like, that's, that's just kind of a part of my personality. Got subby boy here. Have you ever dealt with somebody stalking you at a con? Yeah. I've dealt with having other, helping other people with stalkers at cons. So my friend Vix, she does YouTube art and stuff. She has. A lot of fans, and some are very um, dedicated fans who uh, want to know where we sleep at night. So, uh, yeah, we, we get people. Oh my god, that is that is so scary to me. Like, that is so scary to me. Like, I just remember that... there was this one con where, like, somebody online had, like, said something about how they basically intended to stalk her. And then, like, she got together, like, a task force like a security detail of fursuiters and friends and we were just we were gonna make sure this dude didn't get to her it was pretty it was pretty cool <laughs> we, we just have like group chats open and like all right suspects spotted in this room and then we like all move to a different room <laughs> people can be scary sometimes i mean like i i've had some weird experiences like that too see you always have like a few different groups right you got your fans you know like people who genuinely want to say hi and hang out you know like for a second meet you your stalkers mm -hmm. genuinely want to meet you too yeah stalkers want to beat you and then some. And like, <laughs> <laughs> it gets it gets really strange really fast. Chip and I have had our fair share of stalkers in our time, mostly with our older suits. I've had a few with my, you know, like with Ash Coyote here on YouTube, but the story I'm gonna tell is with one of my older suits. So we had this guy who like had a crush on both Chip and myself. And because he had a crush on both of us and was kind of stalking us in the process, he decided he wanted to try and break us both up and then get us both back together in a relationship with him so like he kept on trying to play each other against you know like each other like he would like message chip and then message me and like try and get us to like start fighting or something and of course you know like chip and i are sitting on the same couch like looking at this guy like what the fuck is he doing like <laughs> like are you serious like is this a thing you know like okay fine and like the whole story ends with him literally commissioning two fursuits two fursuits that look exactly like our characters it was the creepiest thing i've ever seen and like thankfully this guy is gone now Oh my god, like I was so freaked out by that situation. Like that was that was borderline leave the fandom territory for me. Like that was that close. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. It does whatever it's told. Beagle, do you like Yif, Uwu? Why do I always have the answer first? Well, fine, I'll answer. Sure, why not? I like Yif. Do you like Yif? My favorite Yif is it's, it's a very personal question okay beagle made us nudes <laughs> beagle yes are you the top or the bottom i'm gonna say top because the, the i've seen bottom jokes and that's not my jive so top <laughs> 
Beagle's totally a bottom. To answer that question myself, well, let's see. Um, I would probably say I'm like a 50-50 split on a good day. Probably leaning more a little bit towards top. If you could, would you wear your fursuit to work all day? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking Beagle the mail dog, you just show up and you're just like, I got your mail. I mean, I wear furry shirts at work all the time. Like, I don't really care. I think it's funny. You know, like, if you know, you know. And if I wear this at work, then you definitely know. And I'm okay with that. That'd be really cute. You should do that. You should make a video of that. You should just, like, show up at the post office and just be like, Hey, girl, I'm a Beagle. Yeah. Actually, you know, like, the weird thing. So, like, with me, this is my job. I wear my fursuit to work. <laughs> every day <laughs> so um not really a question for ash but you know like yeah, yeah i guess i i would wear my fursuit to work yeah <laughs> i mean now the real question i think for ash is would i not wear my fursuit to work and that's that's a tough one i mean like i i might do videos out of suit every now and then but i'm certainly a whole lot more comfortable in suit what would your mom say about your fursuit that's a tough one to answer, isn't it? Uh, I think she asked how much did it cost. <laughs> that was like the first thing. That would be a thing your mom would ask. In my limited interactions with your mom, as in her calling you, I, I would guess that, yeah, cost would be a big one. Yeah. <laughs> like, she didn't care. She just wanted to know how much it cost. Oh my god. When I So when I told my mom about like a furry and like fursuits and everything, she ended up wearing my fursuit. It was really cute. She's just like, oh, I like it. And she puts it on and she becomes Ash for a little bit. And I was just like, mom, you get this. I love it. I freaking Mama Ash. love it. Your mom seems cool. My mom is really cool. My mom's freaking awesome. Hi, mom. Hi. I know you watch this. I love you. What is the least amount of clothing you've worn under your fursuit? Under the fursuit? Mm -hmm. So I've worn a t-shirt instead of Under Armour ones. And it was so itchy. <laughs> my whole time I was like, my arms are itchy. Because I didn't have sleeves. But yeah, it was a t-shirt. Mine's like awkward. So like I've actually suited naked before. Whoa, hold up. I, I know, I know. And like it's it's for a good reason, I promise. I want to say it was like FC. And like I literally run out of Under Armour. Like my Under Armour was soaked. It was just disgusting. I didn't want to wear it. I wanted to suit again. And like I had one pair of clothes left for like the flight home. And so I wasn't going to like wear a t-shirt and stuff on. I don't know. I just hadn't prepared or packed right. And so basically I just suited naked did you tell people you were naked well i mean i was wearing a fursuit so it's not like they could tell but you know like yeah i mean it, it, it was the thing it was um it was very uncomfortable it was i like chafed and stuff it was not the best life choice um i i'm sure as anybody who has ever attempted that knows the inside of fur is not as comfortable as the fur itself it's itchy as b what is the most interesting picture that you have in your house <laughs> so uh Water for a charity auction, I bought a signed photograph by a very cute fursuiter and the bidding went up to $300 <laughs> and now that is just sitting on my wall. I think my favorite awkward moment with a photo at our house, so we had this picture from Cherry Box and like it was like these two hunky guys with bulges. Um, it was Chip and I, so it was when I was still a guy and like we, we used to have it hanging upstairs underneath our clock and like uh, more than once, um, you know, like, like non-furry folks or, you know, like family would go through the house. That photo would just make them stop and stare for a minute and it always ended the same exact question. They'd be like, why did those foxes have such big bulges? And I'm just like, oh God, please don't make me explain this. Beagle, how often do you have to pick up Chip Fox's underwear? <laughs> Question obviously meant for me, but Beagle's gonna have to answer it too. So how often do you have to pick up Chip Fox's underwear? Hopefully never. <laughs> Honest answer here, all the freaking time. I do the laundry in the house. I'm the lady. Is he a dirty fox? He's a dirty boy. He's a dirty foxy. It's just like, oh. well, that concludes our episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. And tell me a little bit about embarrassing situations that you might have had in pursuit, out of pursuit, at a furry con. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Goodbye.